Ah, it's y'all bubba again. Oh, I probably should pause the music. Church! All right. I'm getting everything packed up and getting ready to go to the Georgia Bushcraft Weekend. It's an amazing time. If you haven't been, you should check it out, look it up. If you're anywhere in the area or in the state of the country, I don't care. You should come. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to show y'all what I got in my pack, what I normally keep in my pack. And this is just my basics. Here's my pack. I don't even remember what name brand it is. Let's see here. This one is a whatever. All right. And then in my pack, I always keep basic stuff. Now this changes out my little cook pot and whatnot, my mess kit. It changes out. Keep these spoons. This right here is actually a fire starter kit right here. My flint steel and lighter. I keep chopsticks, ferro rod, water filter, compass. This is my char cloth. Emergency blanket, headlight, flashlight, and a bunch of batteries. I try to keep these the same. If you got things that require batteries, try to keep them the same thing. If one thing uses AAA, try to make sure everything has uses AAA or rechargeable. All right, some bank line. This goes in and out. This changes too. This is a cook kit, a little stove. This is my hammock lights. I think this is called an Italian canteen or something like that. I really like it. I use it most of the time. Some allspice. I usually keep one of these things in there. No, I'm not sponsored. Bear Creek. I love it. The Mora stays in there. This is my camp hatchet. This is actually a buck saw. And then here's my little firebox stove. A hacksaw I love this thing and this is my hammock now I did have the superfly from war bonnet tarp but uh, it appears I've lost it or somebody's stolen it I don't know if anybody out there in YouTube land Facebook world or whatever knows where my tarp went let me know all right and since I sleep in a hammock I got this right here I don't remember what the heck it's called mylar or something I don't know it keeps you warm and I keep a poncho I keep the big thing, a baklava, I think is what it's called, and then a bandana. Now this is a military sleep system and this is a snug pack under blanket. I'm in the process of saving up money for a war bonnet under quilt, so that's in the process. Now the military sleep system I don't always use because it is big, it is heavy, and it's annoying. But we are driving somewhere that we can park real close to where we're camping, so I'm going to take all this. We're kind of glamping this weekend. The festival, you can park real close where you're going to be. And uh, my daughter's pack pretty much has everything else in it that I got. But that's her pack, my knives. Now, I'm taking some fancy stuff. That's a bottle of Motrin. You're going to need some Motrin. The lights. And because I can't find the rest of my stuff that either got disappeared or stolen, I don't know. I'm taking my bedroll that I used to use. This big old sleeping bag, military issue. And the sleep system and i'm taking all kinds of stuff the, another wool blanket the kid i'm taking that with me too <laughs> but she's not going in a backpack I'm taking my kilt so this is just a quick overview of what i normally keep in my pack and how i keep my pack and what we're taking and i'll include this in the video over the weekend with the georgia bushcraft event which is just phenomenal oh and there's usually a, a puck a sharpening puck but right now it's in the sink and a bowl of water so I can touch my axe and my knife's up. I always bring chopsticks. They're always in my pack. All right, well, hopefully next time you, I see you in about that much time, it'll be at Georgia Bushcraft. But right now it's gonna be a few hours. All right, y'all. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Bubba here again. I don't know if y'all can see it's raining. I got my canvas anorak boreal cover, whatever you want to call it, from Ibis Outfitters. I hope these raindrops ain't killing the camera. But uh, we're at Georgia Bushcraft Gathering. I uh, just got everything set up. It's raining pretty good, but like they say, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. 
I'm uh, gonna show you this funny little setup I just did because I can't find my tarp. So I got me and the daughter, she's on one tree, I'm on the other, tied some mule tape up for one tarp that she has. Got us both in there hanging, you can see our setup. Now this is a, you can drive to the spot, so I have a lot of luxuries here. Don't judge me, I got chairs, coolers, clothes, all kinds of stuff, so chairs and cooler. The tarp wasn't quite big enough to get over our heads, so I had this camouflage tarp in my truck, and I threw that over there, got it all tied off. Well, I brought the whole kitchen. I brought cast iron skillets, bacon, eggs, all kinds of stuff. We're going to eat good and get fat this weekend. But uh, I just wanted to show you all this. If you all ever get a chance to come out here, you really should do it. Because, look, it's like these people. They brought one pack in, got their whole set up. Now, this is the, this is the main gathering area right here got a keyhole fire pit got a little cook station over there got logs got a bunch of places to hang out under the tarps this is tarp mahal mark de jong and uh bill mcgee put that together i'm pretty sure that was them too <laughs> like a tp i don't know man but it's pretty cool it gets nice and warm they even got a little stove in there but i want to give you all a quick picture of my uh setup and i'm telling you this is my first time using this thing can y'all see the white ain't gonna last long, but I ain't getting wet so far. I can see it hitting on it. I can see it beating a little bit. I am gonna treat it again, and get it a little bit more watertight. But so far, it's doing a good job. But all right, y'all, we're gonna see what we can do. Maybe get around. I think classes are supposed to start at 10 o'clock. All kinds of training stuff going on over here. But uh, it's in Watkinsville, Georgia, and there's a spring and a fall. This one, of course, is the fall. So if you ever get a chance to come up here, Georgia Bushcraft, it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I don't, I don't know. It's all over the internet. It's got a website and everything. Y'all look it up and come on down. So uh, we're going to pause this and go meander, and we'll be back with y'all in a little bit. <laughs> like to actually see as far as its strength. But some people will like take it in a V, you know? And then other people lay it in flat, and I haven't really, oh, I didn't know if you would do I tend to lay it in flat, just to keep the add-ins in different spots. What you doing, Grace? We're doing cordage right now. I don't know. Tell them so you're making cordage. Making cordage or making rope. See, that's, see, that's what it is. No, you're more interested in the basket. Okay. Oh, two o'clock, I think. Okay, thank you. Is the concept the same? Uh, what are you, what are you making it with right there, Chris? That's all. What'd you tell you it was? Cattail, right? You don't remember what the cattail was? Yeah, the, the stuff with the, with the, with the corn doggies on it? Yeah. We went and got out the ditch? Yeah. <laughs> that right there is from those. Really? Yep. Oh. It's from the stalk, I'm sure. Yeah, the stalk. <laughs> First class, cordage for Grace Sabre. <laughs> Oh, we're only second. No Photoshop here, Carly. Nope. Real deal. So that. <laughs> and that's the yucca she's scraping the outer out to make it more fibrous. We'll put that on so I remember it later. You got the person tied up here. Three. Right. When I get to this port right here, I'm going to go to the top side here. All right? Actually, we'll go around. Back to here. Hear that tight up? Reward. Get back to the inside, too. Two, three. You go underneath. Back around one more time. When I come through this one, I'm going to come through the bottom side. I'm going to frap it now. One.
got a saw like on the the bar it out again. Third go round. It'll really get it really tight it down. I'm not gonna come apart. Take this piece. You guys see that right there, how it's stabbing us. Flash and strap. Last but not least, we're going to do a double flow pitch. What I do, I just do two overhead knots in here. One. Leave them loose. Push them down to where they go. Pull them tight. There's your brain pack. Is that what they call the Roy Croft or whatever? Roy Croft, yes sir. Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. All right. There's more to it. You guys see this? This goes on the back right here. Lays real nice and good into the back. Now. That's all good to be able to have it framed up, but you need to be able to carry it. So we're going to actually make some walks head knots. So we're going to start out with what we call a blood knot or double fisherman knot. I just do it real simple. A lot of people do it various different ways. I just do two overhand knots. That's how I do my necklaces. Mm -hmm. You know what else? I do my necklaces. Well, it's yes. my thing, yep. Two. So that way you can adjust whatever else you made for adjustment. You use this for a person knot too. So what you're building here is when you build your pack, when you have your tarp, you actually got your emergency shelter, all the stuff that's needed. You use 25 foot of paracord to be able to, be able to attach your pack to it. And then you got all your Large head knots here that can become person knots. So that right there, you've got everything you need. A lot of people go ahead and put toggles on here too to be able to tile so you got your toggles for your five minute emergency shelter as well. Kids throw knives. I think we should let a lot of kids throw knives. That's what we're going to do today. Now, another thing how to throw knives and tomahawks and hatchets. Josh, you want to throw some hatchets? You want to throw some knives? I think we're going to throw some things. Which means, yeah, it might, sometimes you might need to get back, yeah, a little bit. But for me, right now... Y'all, I'm having so much fun. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video and show y'all what's going on here. When you first come in, you come to the sign-in, and there's a row of vendors in all kinds of different classes. I'll have little snippets of the classes that we decide to take if I remember to turn on the camera, but I'm having so much fun I don't want to. So when you first walk in, you come up to the check-in aisle, check-in area. You got this lovely lady who does the check-in. This is Mr. Casey. Howdy. He's the man. He knows everything, runs everything. Wide open. Got your bushcraft gear. Georgia bushcraft everything. This is Mr. Bill McGee, number one man. And then you just walk in and you got rows and rows of vendors. You can see where all the different classes are classes different people classes teepees those are awesome you're going to have half moon outfitters some of y'all people will recognize some of these names some of y'all won't you got mr ryan with dead edc the funnest guy in the whole property here y'all make sure you check him out for sure i'll have links to everybody's stuff at the bottom of the video griffin pocket tool oh hell and here goes the guys that that uh, sponsored everything LT Wright knives, some of the best knives you'll get your hands on. I haven't met these fellas before, but I remember the other guys. Y'all like it? They're real quiet. Everybody else talks. These guys just. <laughs> we'll make them famous. See what we can do. <laughs> All these Overland people. LT Wright's got their Overland thing too. If y'all haven't seen that before, y'all got to check that out. And then uh, Nordsmith knives. Just met this guy. He's a pretty cool fella. He's got a good name. Y'all say hey. <laughs> Y'all check them out. I'm going to put links to everybody's stuff at the bottom. I don't know these fellas. I'm Bubba. It's nice meeting you. Clint, nice Clint, to meet you. You too, sir. We're going to walk over here. Oh, look at Dogwood Custom Knives. Got him a group of folks over here. Look at him. He ain't going to get a chance to talk now. He's selling stuff. Some of the best knives you'll find, especially if you're in the kitchen. Buy two or three for your woman. I mean, buy a couple either way. This is my best good friend. 
Matthew Gillenwater Reliance Leatherworks, and then there's Tim over here. Look at some of these drawings. These beautiful artists. I asked him to draw me a picture once. I haven't heard about I that. Forgotten about your he forgot about me. I even offered him money. I will never he forgot about me. Ever. <laughs> so leather stuff. Y'all check this guy out. Look at this. I'm gonna promote another leather worker because he's better than me. I'm still gonna steal one of these one day. I make one, but it's not as pretty as his. Not as pretty as his. He's just. You know what is prettier than his though? You? This guy. Oh, he's my favorite. <clears throat> <laughs> and then Wazoo, I know a lot of y'all have uh, survival gear. This dude makes and sells everything. Basically, that goes on your body. This is a sharpening stone. It's pretty much a honing stone, not a sharpening stone. And he's got little compasses, all kinds of different little miscellaneous gear, compasses, uh, fire starters, fishing kits, um, his bandanas with all the different tracks. And then these are fire starters. This is a ceramic striker and a piece of ferrocerium rod as a necklace. And of course he has gear. You can buy shirts and all that stuff like that. We come over here. You got the axe and spoon with Jason Chapman. I think he's in this class over here right now. So we might pause this. He's on Instagram and stuff too. He's a predator services. He does uh, uh, trapping and stuff here in North George, I believe it is. The axe and spoon, fully restored vintage knives, hand carved wooden spoons. Sells a bunch of different stuff, refurbishes things. This guy's truly talented when it comes to a lot of this. He's in the process of making a spoon right there, too. Come over here, you got Exotac. I know some of y'all heard of these guys. Got us a class going on. Let's see what this is all about. Anyway, I was driving, I was driving that, and I left it, you know, and left it wet. This is the Wazoo guy. Who's that? That's the other Wazoo guy. Who's that? This guy. He does Wazoo stuff too. Get Wazooed out sometimes. Have I met this one before? I don't think I've met you before. I'm Bubba. Good. I'm glad you got to meet me. Dustin. Dustin. He doesn't need to have a name. We'll continue this. Let's watch this. He's having a whole class about making spoons and stuff. So uh, we're not going to interrupt that. And this guy right here is best coffee around. Queen Bee Coffee Company. He just got here. He's just getting set up. But uh, that's his high end. <laughs> but they're good people. They do real good coffee too. Queen Bee Coffee Company. You'll see it. Should be probably a link under all this. Appalachian Fieldcraft. I think he's over in that class right now. Um, they got all kinds of stuff. They sell a lot of this canvas stuff. Canvas pouches and things awesome yeah uh, he's this guy's also a will william collins knives i guess ambassador is what you'd call it but cool little pouches that one right there has got all kinds of different bowls in it or something like that little tins axe handle holders and then you got the uh red-eyed hog people all kinds of different seasonings and waxes these dudes got some really neat stuff so i'll show you their logo here, let's put that right there so y'all can see that. All right. Got it. So y'all come up here. I'm telling you, you're going to see all kinds of famous people, too. Speaking of famous people, there's Colbert. <laughs> Colbert Sturgeon. His, his little setup he's got out here. The live free or die. I don't remember what TV. National Geographic. There it is. There you go. He's got some stuff set up. You ever get a chance to sit down with Colbert? He is hilarious. He knows more stuff than we, you know, you can even think about. Oh, and then you got these hooligans. Oh, Woody, hey man, who's this guy? Off Grid Medic. Well, oh yeah, I didn't go by your booth. Off Grid Medic. I'll show y'all. Put his link down too. Awesome dude, Mr. Mark DeJong. Thank you. This is going to put on the YouTube here. How long you been making? About five years. I started. I've been full time for years. What group are you with? Just yourself, Joe Seven, Willis. Nine, Joe nine. Willis. All right, nice. Willis Niles. Haven't met this guy before, but we'll put him on the channel too. Nice to meet you, I'm Bubba with Save It Outdoor Survival. He's got some pretty good looking stuff too. But we're going to put his link down too. Y'all can find him. I've never played with his stuff, but it looks like high quality stuff now. Yeah, he's got cars. Look at there. Look at there. Look at this. That's a thick car, boy. Look at there. Can y'all see that? Yeah, now I ain't going to have to worry about it. And I'll put a link too. 
But, uh, oh, here's the Stargazer guy. This dude's hilarious. Check this out. Look at the size of this thing. This dude can see, like, everything. We're doing the YouTube thing. You doing? This is with the Woods Runner. We're not, we haven't got a Woods Runner yet. We're at the Australian. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the woods runner. He's I'm over Judson there. Anyway, I got Judson? I got YouTube anyway. It's Southman Bushcraft. Southman Bushcraft. Southman. I'll write that down. Southman Bushcraft on YouTube. I'm gonna try to find it. Put a link below to all this. You got like cards? What do you do? Yeah, you sell I do anything? Cards. I'm my, yeah. Well, then you just say who you are. Uh, Dennis Sprinkle. Um, Dennis Sprinkle Photography. My actual website is RockSolidPhoto.com. Though. Awesome. <laughs> that makes things easier. Yeah. Now we're gonna go over to Woods Runner. This guy's over here trying to hop in line. There you go. <laughs> with Joshua Barnes. Huh? -huh. Yeah, he's the important one. He goes first. Look at her. Wilderness survival, bushcraft, primitive skills, sustainable living, and fried foods. I mean, how was the burgers? Was that good? good they still smell good. Yeah, it's... I ate you best out. I had to eat them yeah. all. <laughs> tell them who you are so I can save me some time. My name is Joshua Barnes. I'm the founder and director of operations at the Woodrow School of Self Reliance in Clinton, South Carolina. Uh, we've been there about two years, and this is our first trip down to Georgia Bushcraft. We're having a blast down here. Oh, it's good times yeah, down good here. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. It's good to have you in our town, yeah. brother. Now, y'all check him out. He's got all kinds of cool stuff, but he'll have a link too. <laughs> got his people's heads on it. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all good. Y'all good. <laughs> A little bit of everything. I'm sure the school itself is awesome. I was supposed to go a couple weeks ago. Didn't make it because I suck. Um, oh, we got Joe Flowers with Condor Tool and Knife. He has not set anything up but his daughter's tools, toys. So, y'all check him out. Condor, Joe Flowers. Oh, we got Mr. Bill over here. Black Powder Bill. Check out his setup. Yeah, this man don't play. Look at this. Tell them who you are, Bill. Hey, I'm Black Clutter Bill. How you doing? I'm from Hall, Georgia, just outside Athens. And I sell uh, muzzle loaders and refinished muzzle loaders. And I might fool around with some knives if I get a deal or whatever. And <laughs> got some pipes this weekend. Got a friend of mine. He's Native American. He uh, that is nice looking. Hook, hooks me up with some different pipes and throw some cane on there, and everybody likes them. That's what I need right there. Look at that pistol. Got a flintlock pistol there that was made by Jack Rice. It's probably 40 50 years old oh wow and uh, i took in a couple of his guns in the last week just to clean them up fix them up and get them back to him and that one is for sale this is an 1840s mills mm. fowler this is a london fine twist barrel it goes from eights 16ths. you got your wedding band and then this barrel this is damascus and it's as thin as a modern barrel Good. this is about a 12 bore it's a percussion gun it's got a platinum blowout plug we got a couple of rings right there oh, where yeah. they run it it's been taken apart before over the years but uh there she is and shoots shoots, shoots and that's english walnut stock and that is an original gun she's Jeez. up for sale also Beautiful, that's mine really. shoots yeah. nice i shoot about a 28 gauge black powder load out of it i've shot uh skeet trap and uh pheasant with it that's nice anyways five and a quarter pounds oh that's even better <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely one sweet fowler yeah Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Bill. Yep. Now, thank th you. this guy's fun. He's all business right here on video, but this guy's a good guy. <laughs> I'll put a link to his stuff down below, too. Y'all check him out. And then, uh, who else we got at the end of the vendors over here? I don't know if I've met this fella. Who's this? Donnie Roberts Knives. Not sure I've met him. I don't think I have. I'm Bubba, by the way. It's nice Bubba meeting Donnie. you, sir. Nice to meet you. He's got some beautiful things. Thanks. Fix that for him because I'm that guy. Y'all check it out too. I'll try to find it. You got websites? Yes. Yeah, I just saw that. There you go. Uh, I'll try to find it. Put a link on the bottom. But y'all check it out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You bet. But yeah. So like I was saying, y'all come out here. When you come out here, meet and greet folks. Everything's for sale within some form or fashion or another. Or you can just hang out. Nobody's going to try to shove any of this stuff down your throat. When the when the daytime's done, everybody will gather around a fire. We'll tell stories, listen to Colbert tell jokes, Kavilani from uh, Bushcraft Build Off, and whatever else stuff he's here he did. He, uh, he's supposed he's famous on TV. I don't watch a whole lot of it, but he's usually here teaching at Lado classes. And uh, that Carly lady, we'll all be sitting around the fire telling stories. Everybody is good people. If you're seeing this video, you come down to Watkinsville, Georgia. It's on the spring and it's in the fall. It's georgiabushcraft.com. 
and you will not regret it. What I have showed you is very little bit of everything. Now, there is tons of woods over there. Down in the woods, there's um, camps. There's a gathering area. Um, oh, here's some more of them overland guys with their big tents on top of their cars up against the wood line. For you people who are curious, yes, they put porta potties out here while we're here, so you ain't gotta worry about popping a squat with your kids or your old ladies. So bring your women, bring your children. Everyone's welcome. Whole barn over here. Y'all come down. It's worth it. You know, go to georgiabushcraft.com, look it up, figure it out, plan for your next week, the next one we have. You know, tell them Bubba sent you when you get here. Don't do it, it won't help, but I like it. But I uh, appreciate y'all. Till next time, y'all be good now. All right, bye.